Once the indexing has been processed, we'll receive a notification like you see here, letting us know that an Autodesk PCG point cloud file has been generated for us. If we were to click this link, the point cloud would be attached, but let's dismiss this and go see how it works by using the attach function in the ribbon. Now, the good news here is that all we have to do is select our cloud file, open it, and we'll now see that working with a point cloud file is very much like working with an attached XREF. So it's been unified here, so the functionality is, is already familiar for those who've worked with XREF attachments in the past. We'll notice pathing control to use full, no, or relative pathing. Again, just like you would use an XREF, and this is going to make it much easier to resolve cloud files within larger context projects that are spread around network drives and such. The ability to control the on-screen insertion point, scaling, rotation angle, and the ability to automatically zoom into the point cloud once the point cloud is inserted. All we have to do now is select OK, and the point cloud will actually be pulled into our current drawing space, like this. We simply pick our attachment point, we'll go with 0, 0 here in this case, and now we can see that a bounding box has been placed around the outside of all the, the point cloud points, and we're now ready to start working with the point cloud, which we'll do in the next segment.